Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a video overlay in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, a video overlay is something that's very simple to do, but very powerful. It allows you to change the overall tone of a piece. So what I have here is this piece of footage. I got it off of Envato Elements, a great like monthly subscription where you get unlimited amounts of stock footage, has some amazing content on there. Anyway, if that interests you, check out the link in the description below. But I got this footage, I downloaded it, put it in here, and what I wanted to do was make it more of a summer feel to it. This already has a pretty good feel. It's a great cinematography with the light going behind each person, but I wanted to change the colors around a little bit without doing color correction. I wanted something a little bit more sort of aggressive. And for that, I used an overlay. And you can see right here, now we have a completely different feel to this with the red going into the yellow. It really feels like midsummer and it gives it a good look. So that's what we're gonna be creating. Let's do it. Like I said, this is a very, very simple effect to pull off. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just go up to File, New, and then we're going to look for Adjustment Layer, which is right here and you see it's it's uh, grayed out so you need to go ahead and select this box down here before you do that file new and then adjustment layer go ahead and create one mine's a 4k so it automatically creates a 4k adjustment layer create that take that new adjustment layer drag it on top of your footage make sure it extends the length of your footage here by dragging out each end click on the adjustment layer then go to your effects tab wherever that might be and look for an effect called ramp it's under video effects generate and then ramp we're going to take that ramp and we're going to go ahead and drop it onto the adjustment layer right like so and you'll see that immediately it's going to take up the whole screen that's good for right now because now we can actually look at the color change so we want the start color which is the top color to be that yellow so we're going to go up here we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some sort of yellow maybe a sort of a, a very bright yellow there and then down here at the end color we're going to grab ourselves a reddish orange color so maybe somewhere right around here and so now we have a nice blend going top to bottom now all we have to do is go down to blend with original and start dragging this up and you'll see that at 100 percent it's exactly the the original footage and then we just drag this around until it looks good and we can adjust the colors maybe that orange we actually wanted it to be a little redder so we click on that and you can see the colors just change a little bit it's a little bit redder down here and maybe bring this up to we can type numbers in about 80 percent here and now you can see that just like that we've actually created a pretty fun uh overlay we can adjust all of these and make it stronger, make it weaker. And we can also do something that's kind of fun in the ramp shape. So right here, we have a very nice top to bottom, but we could actually create a, a radial ramp. And what that's going to do is it's going to create, uh, let me bring this down to zero so you can see this. It's going to create a circle here, and the rest of it is going to be the in color. So the start color is going to be the center of the circle. In color is going to be everything else. You can go ahead and click on this, and you'll see this dot right here. You can drag the start point around and create a nice fun sort of um, center, I guess you could say like uh, a pattern where there's a circle, you're sort of accenting something in the center. So now if we type in like 60 right here, you'll see that we have red around the outside edges and a sort of a white in the center. And maybe to make this better, we'd actually line the yellow up with the sun here. And then now as it moves, it'll be generally close. You can actually uh, move that around the start of the ramp right here. You can actually move it with the footage so you could track it to the sun and give a sort of fun overlay that actually moves with the elements of the 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 video itself but overall that is how you create a video overlay in premiere pro really really simple to do adjustment layer ramp choose your colors blend with the original you're done thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net if you want to see more videos similar to this one go to that subscribe button i try to make a video as frequently as i can thanks everyone for joining me until next time, see ya.